Hello friends, uh, today I'm going to talk some different topics about um, config. Um, config file is basically how you want to launch your browser and what are the stuffs that you need to consider and any other uh, stuff that is specific to the environment. It's what we're going to put here. Um, so uh, in this, there are multiple ways to put the config files. Um, I'm going to show you some and then uh, there's one that most of the people do is uh, config.properties. There's nothing uh, wrong with that, uh, but I would like to show you a different approach. Um, so I'm going to use the JSON file. So I have a test data.json. So that file would look like this. Usually, um, you can have any attributes in the JSON format, right? So this, this is the JSON object. We have some JSON array here. Uh, same thing, JSON object containing multiple JSON objects. And it could be something like this, right? So if you notice here, I have a JSON object with the environments. So this is going to keep, this piece is going to keep specific information about the environment. Um, I can, I just named this just roughly. So just say developer browser. So it has nothing to do with uh, the test, but I'm just keeping it just so you know what it could look like in the JSON array. Um, browser dot launch mode. I put it headless. Headless is a part of the data that I require for it to launch. Um, so normally what headless browser is, uh, I will launch the phantom JS driver and uh, launch the uh, test into the headless mode. I'm going to do the different video on the headless browser. So we don't focus on that yet. Uh, we just want to know that the tests are running, retrieving this data, right? That's my goal today. Um, so in order to do that, um, there are a couple things we need to do. Um, so first of all, uh, let's go to the hooks. Hooks is where we initialize the browser. We run the test before and after it resides here, right? So if you see this class, this is just the before and after. Into the before, we're launching the browser uh, address. Um, and then we're just maximizing it. Um, so we are going to externalize this data to the JSON file. And here we have a static label uh, web driver, um, um, class level browser um, dot driver. It is going to be called at the class level. So first of all, this will get called. Uh, so let's go here. So this is where we need to set the uh, load the data. Right. This is where we need to load the data so that we can uh, get this used across every time we want. Right. Um, so if you want to see other quick thing is here, this is uh, uh, reading as a browser dot launch mode. So right now I'm going to show you what this currently does. It does not have to do anything with um, your um, uh, your um, JSON file. So if I run this test here now, so I would just right click here, run as, run configuration. So I have already defined, all you need to do is uh, go through uh, any J unit, double click that, and then um, I'll just copy this command. This is the actual command we would need to run the test. Um, so this is going to run through the run config. Um, so when I run this test, um, with that VM arguments, it's going to go through JUnit4, test here, what tries to run, and simply click the run, right? So now your tests are running, okay? Your browser is launching and then it is running, right? So now let's just stop this test. We don't need that yet. So if I do that test with that test run config. So this test is launching the browser. So if I type it headless here, and then apply now run it. So it's not going to launch me the browser anymore. It will run in the headless mode, which means it does the everything that it needs to test will pass. Good thing is it is very fastest. You see this test already passed, but without even launching the browser. But if you see the logs there, it is doing what it needs to do. Anyway, uh, that's just a part of the data that uh, we're just 
just showing you like what this piece is doing um so let's move on to this so i am trying to get the data from this piece environment specific so that i can launch the browser with this url right um so for that purpose this is the json file i created the json file so i have other video to go through json format how it should be um what are the information you need to consider and so and so um i have created another json file reader the class that does those parsing reading the data from the file and put it into the json object so here if you see i'm just calling this class okay new json object instantiating json object and this requires the string right this this requires the string source you see that string source so new json object needs the string source so for that i'm reading the json file with this method this is already given from um, rest assured library uh, file reader dot read to the string so it will read that file under utf format right so that will basically read give us to the string format if we see it has a string now um this json file is basically the json format file and then uh here data storage so basically this is the another class i created to store the data just the storing right set get get json object and this is going to return me the json object with given params and also i created one different method so that i don't have to write this whole thing again and again right otherwise this is what i need to write in order to retrieve the data so for that purpose i wrote this helper method uh, which is basically going to extract this uh, environments from that json file and it is asking the params this is going to be my pastor parameter in order to retrieve that so um, if you go here this given key is going to retrieve that entire environment specific information okay so now um, let's go to uh, this is the json file um, reader and then cucumber hooks we want to read that here but before doing that as i said this is going to get compiled first so we need to come here and load that uh, the first runtime we need to handle so to do that we have to load the data before we even go to this step before we go here we need to take care of this because browser.driver is a method that this is going to run first right so we need to load that here so that we could use that object here okay so do that i have already created a json file reader here dot get config data this is going to load this file okay and then it is going to store it here we want to store that file so for that this is just going to load we're going to load this okay so we're all set here we loaded data just with a single method and then um, rest we'll just leave it that okay this piece I can use that again I'm going to show you different but for now we're going to just update that URL from the hooks so as I said here initialize uh, piece um, let's go here and update this value so for this value I have already written into that dev URL correct so this is where I already have that so and also I have this data store called this has the get environment specific environment key so I'm going to call this so that it will give me entire dev information and from that we can extract that again so what I will do is data store dot Get environment key so in this case our is dev right dot dot get string that is going to be URL okay we need to pass because we are 
getting the entire piece from here we need to get inside okay then we need to get inside at that point we are calling get string because in that case we're passing getting only single uh, key value okay here we're not getting single key value this is entire the JSON object that contains the entire curly braces okay so just uh, don't confuse with that uh, and then I guess it needs a one more parenthesis and then it is happy so now we are passing that from the data now let's see if I run the same test what does it do I'm debugging okay so there's nothing null point here if you see this is the data load okay you see this is how that looks it's the exactly same thing that we have entered okay now next thing is it is going to set here I'm going to do the next step here after that it is going to return which means it will go out from there and this piece is done now so now next thing is what's the launch mode we're doing headless okay so browser is not going to launch so now if the driver is null then which is null then do this right then it will read the driver from there if it is a headless it will go here okay Your launch mode is a headless i said headless then do new phantom js driver otherwise open the chrome driver Okay, that's what the condition is of the headless we'll go through headless next okay so the test is starting now running on the port okay session is created let's do f8 okay now we are going to retrieve this here so if you want to do this before you want to you know run that go through compile you can just right click here inspect or you can do watch any one of the other inspect so inspect is going to give you the value demo dot nope so you have a URL with this information this is retrieving from JSON file okay JSON file so let's go here again cucumber hooks so obviously it is going to now launch me this driver because it has the URL okay so if you see the console here console has already started the test it maximized the tests are running so let me remove all of the breakpoint now tests are running you see the logs are going on going through right the test continues to pass that's the headless right um, and then because I have so many tests here it is going to run on also I'm going to stop for now um, I'm going to do this I don't have a condition for the browser uh, version so I can just either write anything it will work or I can just say browser okay now if I run the same test it is going to launch the browser for me Okay, it may not have compiled let's refresh that mm, not yet not yet let's do what we what's wrong here Okay, looks like it is still going through this argument here's a headless so the system set properties is reading that so I think this does not have any argument that does not require the argument so this is going to launch me the browser now okay browser is launching and, and then la you see the URL is coming and this is coming from the uh, this is coming from your um, 
JSON file, right? Um, next thing is, let's do one quick thing here. Uh, so browser, right? If you see here, system.grid property, browser.launch mode, this is what I was passing into the run config. That's why it is retrieving. In this time, we did the new config, so this information wasn't there. So it, this came into null. So if it is null, what do you do? This will bypass this condition, correct? And then it will go through new Chrome driver. Saying if this is correct, the question mark is basically saying if, and then do this, right? Otherwise, which is like colon, then do this. Basically, this is just like if or else block, same as that. Uh, this is just easier, so okay. Um, I hope this has been pretty helpful for you. Let me wrap up quickly again. Um, so in this video, we are trying to show you the JSON file. So JSON file, retrieving the data from the JSON file as a config. Um, there are multiple things we're passing here. So uh, one of these is this information or uh, we're passing this environment specific dev environment. So this is having the URL for what we're going to test. Um, there's a JSON parser, the file that actually uh, loads the JSON file. So basically it loads and it will set into the data store class. Okay, we're storing that. Um, also, I have some methods to retrieve exact like environment specific information so that I don't have to write again and again. Uh, so these are basically the JSON stuff. And then when I launch the browser, first of all, I need to do is I need to load it. Okay. I need to load the data. So after that, then this, in this case, we don't need that at all. Um, and then what we do after that is here. Uh, this is rest just uh, launching the Chrome driver. And then if you go here, um, Cucumber hooks, that's where we're actually using the URL from the JSON file. So how I do, Data store dot get environment info dev dot get string URL. Okay, um, so then uh, furthermore, you saw the test was running and um, how to run the test. I have so many other videos, please refer to that. How to use with the JSON file, please refer to that as well. There are JSON file videos, how to parse, how to load, how to read the J JSON file from any specific attribute. I have specific videos for that, please refer to that. Um, and again, there are not there are so many ways to store the data. So one would be the config properties, which is just nothing but the property file having key value map. Um, another is the JSON file, which I just showed you. And there are other ways that you could also do with various other things. You can hard code it. You can do. You can write the enum, or you can even pass it through the Cucumber file. It's all your preference. Okay. Um, just follow the best practices available and try to do the new things, right? Thank you very much for watching this video and we look forward to um, uh, get more videos. That will be more interesting stuff we're going to do uh, furthermore. Thank you so much for your time and we look forward to seeing you soon.